What's up, my party people? It's your boy, Darshan Smith, back again for another episode of the Positivity Hour, specifically episode 99, the three things I learned over my last Thanksgiving break as a college student, okay? Those three things are pretty short and sweet and simple, okay? Your time matters. Take your, take your, you know, you can't do everything and, you know, take, you know, prioritization of yourself, okay? End of the video right there. I'm just joking. Roll the intro. Woo! <laughs> All right, did you see I tried to make the woo sound, but like my voice is still gone, man. That last, that last football game we had is, uh, you know, it was rough. It was rough, okay, but hey, you know, it was fun. You know, uh, final time marching out on the field in the marching band at the, as a home game member, but you know, we're it won't be my last appearance. We'll say that for now. You know, more interesting content coming soon, and just trying to you know level up and you know take the opportunities in which are presented to me. You know. And, you know, just really think about, you know, what, what Darshan wants to do and just kind of go from there, okay? So, on a more serious note, hopping uh, straight back into, you know, this episode, because it just started and we're only a minute in. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. So, over this last week, you know, I've been doing this little thing called Thanksgiving break, and it's been really nice. It's been a, a good uh, moment to, you know, reflect and, you know, take a step back, take a step down the stairs, you could say, from maybe uh, across the other side of the room, and just really look at myself, what I've been doing, and, you know, these are the three things I think are the main takeaways from this last week. Uh, I guess a fourth takeaway, is, and it's something I always say in these podcasts, or I try to do, make sure you drink that water, okay? Today, it's that uh, severed lime liquid death Man, bubbly water. It's really good. It's really good. I ain't gonna lie, okay? I gotta take a second sip. <sighs> okay, just like that. Now that we got some sparkling water in us at the bright, ripe hour of 8 o'clock a.m., let's, let's actually get into these three things, okay? So I took some notes, and as I pull up the notes, I'm gonna talk about, you know, like I said, this, this last week, because this last week informed these notes, you know? This week... Overall has been really good because for the first time in about four years, I actually took a break. I mean, like I didn't for multiple days in a row. I didn't like practice my trumpet. I didn't like, you know, low key work on schoolwork. I didn't like, you know, do anything related to my job. I just I like, legitimately took a break from like everything I was doing, you know, and it gave me the time, like I said, just to sit back, reflect, and be like, yo, Darshan, like, what are you doing in this world? Yo, Darshan, how has this been affecting you? And, you know, how has this been affecting your mental? How has this been affecting, you know, your health? You know, how has this been affecting, you know, most importantly, you know, just what it is to be Darshan, you know what I'm saying? And, like I said, all of that reflection led me to these points right here. So I won't hold you any longer. Uh, let's hop straight into it, okay? Point number one, okay, that I learned over this last Thanksgiving break of my college career is you simply just can't do it all. And it, it's that simple, you know? Me, I understand this concept, but, you know, I've always had difficulties, you know, implementing it per se. Um, I say this as a person who's trying to do it all. You know, I'm taking the music lessons. I'm doing two, three different music ensembles, all while, you know, doing two degree programs, you know, trying to, you know, level up and do a uh, graduate level course and all of these other little, uh, you know, undergrad courses. And, you know, not to mention my Canvas job, my production company, my, uh, you know, my other job in the research lab. And, you know, me trying to have a social life and, you know, me, you, you see what I'm saying? I'm not even done and it that just sounds unrealistic you know and really you know this week like just allowed me to take a step back and like write about it and just think about it and just how freaking crazy that is you know that like this is the new norm of like modern college students or at least for the ones who are trying to be above average like me you know what i'm saying uh because to be above average you know you're you gotta you know do this and that and this and that but you know i think what chico being you know the comedian and uh member of 85 south show you know shout out to them uh 
I, I actually have one of their hats somewhere around here, but uh, it's, I don't know where, what happened to it. Um, but he said on the Breakfast Club pod, uh, I've said podcast, the radio show, let me, let me put some respect on the name, okay? They were doing this before this, you know? And uh, he said on there that, you know, back in the days, you know, you only had to compete with those you could see around you. So, you know, being above average, especially at Iowa, because people ain't really trying that hard. Uh, here it must be said uh, I'm already I'm already you know uh, you know what I'm saying you know I'm already doing better than a lot of people here but uh, that being said you know in the modern sense like Chico Bean said you know you're competing with the phone and you know I, I've like all humans you know we like to tell ourselves like we're not competing with anyone and this and that and this and that but you know it, we all see it we all see your your one cousin halfway across the world doing something big and extravagant and you want to live up to that expectation and this and that but like I said, I can keep going on this topic, but it boils down to the simple point that you just can't do it all. OK, and you need to. And this is what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, once I graduate, you know, the University of Iowa is just taking the, you know, 12 to 15 things I do and just doing three of them or three to four, you know, preferably four, but three to four of them at a very high level. And just like being an expert in that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm ready for it, okay? So with all that being said, um, let's move on to the second point in which I learned over this, you know, my last Thanksgiving break here, if we're keeping with the title. Water break. Ah, bubbly water. But um, the second point is even the best of the best of the best need a break every every once in a while so what makes you think you're any different okay this is a very personal point because like i said um you can't do it all but you know even if you were doing some things at a very high level think lebron james the basketball player going hard in the paint throwing it 24 7 365 you are literally gonna run yourself into the grim okay think lewis hamilton race car driver you know formula one driver let me put some respect on his name okay sir lewis hamilton okay um you know grinding every oh lord grinding every single day just to you know be the best of the best but at the same time you know i can keep on going on you know naomi osaka okay oprah winfrey okay dr minifield okay dr damani phillips you know i'm like i can keep going these people are at such a high level in then all of their careers and or retirement's era or whatever they're doing but even they take a step back they're like okay i'm taking a I'm taking a month off to go be with my kids okay i'm taking a month off to go focus on something else i'm taking a month off literally to sit in an ice bath every day because my body physically needs to heal and this point right here is something that like i just don't do at all and it's been very apparent i think throughout my whole college career but this is the first time i actually had a chance to like sit back and think about it that like yeah like i said with point one you can't do it all that's very true but number two is i'm just trying to be above average i'm not even the best of the best but even the best of the best take a break okay from the grind they take a break from the hustle maybe because they have the luxury to but they also understand that if they want to keep performing at a high level they need to you know actually heal themselves if they're going to go back into war and slaughter you know what i'm saying they need to take a step back and collect <laughs> excuse me they need to collect their thoughts you know what i'm saying before they're about to go back into the boxing ring so they aren't going to get psyched out when they're getting punched in the face repeatedly you know what i'm saying and all of this has just showed me that like dang like i, I think i was trying to be some superhuman dude when like in reality man I, like i said i've said it before and i'll say it again i'm just an average joe doing above average things okay like most people are okay we're just you're just humans doing human things and some of us are a little bit more known so <coughs> Pardon me there. Uh, One take everything. With all that being said, let's hop into our third and final point for today. So just as a recap, we talked about with point one, you can't do it all. Okay. You literally eventually just burn out. Okay. Number two, even the best of the best take breaks. So what makes you any different? Um, Enough said right there. Point three that i learned over this uh the 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 third thing rather that i learned over this thanksgiving break you know my last thanksgiving break uh for the my life because i don't think i'm going back to college ike um (laughs) uh is that um 
you know, you need to prioritize yourself. It's it's that simple, okay? Um, whether it be, you know, monetarily, this is something I've always like struggled with. Um, like 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 okay, so like for like the are y'all familiar with the uh, whole concept of like the crab in the barrel thing, you know? And you know, like one person tries to get out, but then another person pulls him back in. You know, uh, that's 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 a lot of different communities. You know, a lot of people say like to say it's black folks, but you know, it's everyone to some degree. But it's a good analogy to explain how one overextends themselves. Uh, you know to try to make it out or maybe to use the backs of other people to make it out but then ultimately get sucked back in because you know eventually once they make it out or whatever they like look back or something like that to try to help those uh, behind them you know I me personally I would love to like do the opposite of that I want to make it out and help as many people as I can but you know something that's been really difficult for me growing up and just understanding and something I thought about a lot this break was that like whether it be, you know, my actual time spent with people or whether it be, you know, my monetary resources I have or, you know, some other, you know, wisdom or knowledge I can provide to people or my actual physical health and all of that, you know, I just I just need to prioritize myself a little bit more than I have been, you know, because I can't I can't help others if I can't even help myself, you know. And whether that is me, you know, still being overweight and, you know, stopping, you know, going to the gym and all that. So I can't even like, you know, be at the top of my physical peak or me trying to help as many people as I can. So I drain my own bank account, you know what I'm saying, or whatever it may be, you know, you're getting an exclusive look into Darshan's life. I'm just joking. But um, oh, I should have did the voice thing. Exclusive. Oh, no, I don't know. What is going on here? Do the thing. Exclusive look into Darshan's life. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I, I know, I know I have this thing set up, okay? Hold on. A few moments later. Gotta love some SpongeBob sound effects. But um all that being said, you know, those were those are the three things I learned over this break. And I think the last point in which I spent the least amount of time talking about is the most important of all of them. But I think I spent the least amount because there were elements of that topic in all of the previous two. Okay. I like I said, I like how I said all of the previous two, like I was talking about a lot. We gotta keep this nice short and sweet. Okay, 15 minutes or less today. We're at 12. So let me wrap it up for you. Like I I said in in uh you know in summary i learned a lot over this thanksgiving break and i think i'm just gonna read the most recent instagram caption i uh put out on my account because it it, it is a good summary of you know everything i'm saying right now and just all of the all all, all of what i've been going through this through this last year through this last four years of my college career, but then most importantly, like the last 18 years of my life. So uh, for for those who are curious, it is uh, November 27th. Happy belated Thanksgiving and, you know, and a happy new year. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. Wow. We want to take everything, though. All right, so this post, I started by saying Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and uh, I'll, I'll post the pictures online, or, or, or they're already online, but I'll overlay them over here, I guess, yeah, over here or something, so you can, I'm going to scroll them as, you know, whatever, you'll see it, okay? Um, these pictures represent my life this year. This year's Thanksgiving break has allowed me time to sit back, reflect on life, and understand why, especially in the year 2022, I've been out of focus. I'm going to be honest. I've felt off or have dropped the bag on multiple occasions, in this case, acorns and pike cones on slide three, and just haven't been able to feel like myself. Luckily, I've been able to change this, but it comes at a cost. I have had to burn bridges, lose connections with organizations and people I actually enjoyed and or needed, and just do what is often considered the unpopular choice in a matter, not to mention some hair loss on top of all of that. Um, a lot of this just stems from me being so incredibly burnt out since I never take breaks and haven't since I started college in 2019, plus growing up and getting ready to attack the real world and see what life outside of school is like. It's crazy to think I've been in school the last 18 years of my life. I'm so excited for the future because I know it's bright. I mean, just look at my windbreaker. But it's got me scared, too. To whom much is given, much can be taken. But ultimately, as the music artist and rap label mogul Lil Bibby once said, if you want something you've never had, you gotta do some things you've never did before, okay? 
I'm not perfect and I make mistakes all the time, but I'm ready for my next chapter in life. I just gotta finish this one first, sadly. Here's to a better rest of our lives, everyone. And I hope you all can find peace within yourselves as well. I can confidently say I love all of myself and can't wait to keep staying positive and working hard until my time on this earth comes to an end, okay? Eat some good food. You know the vibes. Stay positive, and uh, that's about it. So with all that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully you enjoyed the pictures. Make sure you, you know, click the links in the description below. Go view my website site i just updated it i got merch now um you know it's in the products page but i'll drop a link to the uh in the in the in the notes as well um you know i got like a new positivity hour flag and uh, phone case and all like hey you, you go 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 check the link out you see it okay um and yeah with all that being said yeah make sure you like subscribe unsubscribe hate comment follow unfollow share report i don't care what you do okay i just make sure i just want i just want y'all to make sure you're taking care of yourselves i just want to i just want to make sure y'all okay you all the people watching this right now you all are living your best life and trying to level up yourselves and just prioritizing yourselves prior prioritize your health realize that you can't do it all and just be able to understand that you know it's better just to be really good at a couple things rather than to be spread so thinly you're just gonna die because you're too stressed um maybe i'm speaking from experience um but yeah with that being said i'm um, i'm gonna head out because i actually gotta finish a presentation being that i did no uh, homework over break it is grind time uh, on this sunday morning and this whole day and uh yeah the grind starts again uh, the semester is almost over next semester is so much easier we got like two more weeks of this man two more weeks but i got this okay don't worry about me i got this okay so i'll see y'all around and uh yeah man drink some water today man drink some water Woo! <laughs> Liquid death clinches your thirst. This is not a paid product advertisement, but I like liquid death. Liquid death. <laughs> if you're still watching or listening to this, you're like, this dude's strange. <laughs> All right, goodbye.